board, it's time for the next level in Ghosts and Goblins. Man, this one took me forever to think about. Hang on, let me pull the volume up. Right off the bat, you have to duck. By the way, this is probably the hardest level of the game right now. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but... On level 3, they made one of the most impossible challenges they could think of. Yeah, you remember those red devil guys? Well, this level... <coughs> <coughs> this level's a marathon of them. Die, zombie. Oh, die again, zombie. Yeah, those things shoot bullet balls at you for some reason. I don't know why. Now here comes the worst part of the entire game. The worst part. <coughs> this game is making me sick. It's making me sick. Yeah, there's a ton of red devils in this section of the game. It is incredibly bad. So you got those guys shooting bowling balls at you. I hate this guy. There's tons of cheap stuff. <coughs> A lot of cheap stuff like those two guys. Oh, and then this guy. Yeah. Go away. I hope your mother falls down the stairs. Well, oh, good news, we have infinite continues, and I can do whatever the hell I want. Oh, what's your language, Alec? My goal was <coughs> to get through the game without swearing, but yeah, I'm using turbo for that I don't give a darn. Hello, kitty. I hope you die again. <coughs> yep, what you're hearing is the insane ramblings of a child who just woke up a few hours ago. I will give them credit, though. The game is pretty good. Except for the fact that Arthur is a complete pussy. And let that kid ourselves, Arthur is one of the weakest video game characters ever. He can only throw up to three projectiles at a time. He can only take two hits before he's dead. And about that, guys, you know that game Zombies Ate My Neighbors? Well, the characters in that game can take ten hits before they die, no matter what hits them. Unless they have to hide potion, but we don't talk about that. Oh, shit. Your only hopes are defeating those guys, dude. Anyway, so the characters Zeke and Julie from Zombies Ate My Neighbor, they can take 10 hits. They are ordinary teenagers. Or maybe not, since they can also take a chainsaw to the face 10 times. Well, 9 times, and they'll still live. They take it 10 times, and they die, but. 
And I don't know any teenagers that can take time hits from a fight. This guy, though, loses his armor. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> and then it's like, oh no, I'm dead. Thank you for dying. Crap! I hope you die of cancer! Well, okay, let's stop talking like a cancerous internet personality. I'm kidding. I wouldn't actually talk to that. I still hope that some crazy guy, some naked guy comes along with a javelin though and kills you. Or a dagger. But still, Arthur, your jumping sucks. You're weaker than a couple of teenagers. <coughs> and even your weaponry isn't very great. Oh, I'm so glad you're dead now. Let's just turbo our way out of this. Let me beat the freaking game. Yeah, this is actually the hardest part of the game right here. Makes me shocked. I just got to level 5 for the first time yesterday. I also beat level 5 for the first time yesterday. Yeah. What does that tell you? It tells you whoever made this game had their heads up their butt. That kept them. Well, you know, I made it so far. Alright, now I'm gonna stab you in the face a bunch of times and hopefully you die. Oh my god, will you die already? No wonder people hate you fuckers. Damn. Chill. The fuck out. I say, screw that old swearing thing. I'm playing Ghost and Goblins. Everyone who says you should never swear has never played Ghost and Goblins. Yes. Oh my god. <coughs> Alright, we're almost at the end. <coughs> you gotta be careful about how you approach the boss. Here's some giant dragon thing. Thank you for watching, everyone. That's how to beat level 3 in Ghosts and Goblins by swearing and screaming and acting like a cancerous internet personality.